Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome, guys. You know, I just thought about something interesting. Like, some things that you can say with regards to the Father. You see, the Father has a special status here. You see, the Father, there are some things you cannot say about the Father. And the Christians, they just try to say these things. And you see how it's comfortable to say it the other way around. But when it comes to the Father, there's something about the Father that is special. And you know, guess what? The early church fathers, they always say this. You check all the creeds, it's always the Father. The one God, the Father. The only true God, the Father. There's something about the Father that you should recognize. The Father is the Father. Is the, is the beginning of all of this. The Father is the main character. You see? Every other thing is because of the Father. At the end of the day, the Father is the God. 90% of the time, you hear God is the Father. 90%. Maybe in the Bible, they also refer to other things like as God. Like they refer to like the Jewish priests that would judge people, that judge people as God. They refer to Moses as God, but not in that sense of the Father. Mm -mm. No one is in the sense of the Father, referred to as God. And even if you say that, I also have other. But the point is this look at this. You know, you can, when Jesus was accused of blasphemy, what did he say? He said, You guys are called gods. In the Old Testament, I just said I'm God's son. Why are you having an issue with that? You guys are called gods. Me, I said I'm God's son. You're having an issue with me. So in a way, you can say God's son. In a way, in a sense, God's son. You can also say God's spirit. Like the Holy Spirit is God's spirit. But can you say God's father? You cannot say that. <laughs> you cannot say God's father. It's weird to say God's father. Because that means God's son. God, Spirit, God, Father. That means there's something God, there's another God somewhere. The God is not none of them, but we know. When we say God, Son, we mean the Father. When we say God, Spirit, we mean the, whole, uh, the Father's Holy Spirit, right? In that sense. So it's weird to say God's Father. You cannot say that. Another one is, uh, you can say, God sent His Son. Okay? God sent His Son, in a way. Which is, you see, this, this Son and Father stuff, we Muslims, we don't have anything to do with that. It confuses people, telling you, this father, son, this way, everything went wrong. Anyway, you can say it, you guys can say, God sent his son and God sent his spirit. But can you say, God sent his father? Can you say that? You cannot say it, it's weird. <laughs> How can God send his father? Who is, who is the God? When we say God, I'm telling you, he's the father. Most of the time when they say God is the father. The equality between the father, the son and the spirit it came later. The unequivocal uh, uh, equivocation that happened between them, that the tripersonal God, basically, is not something that the early tradition had. The early tradition, they made distinction between them. They made distinction between the Father, the Word, and the Spirit. They showed that the Father is the source. The Father is superior. They call them subordinationist. The subordinist, I mean, subordinationist, uh, like origin. People like Origin and Tertullian, they don't believe they are equal. No, equal in some other sense, but equal, really equal? No, they don't believe this. They believe they are, the Father is superior to them, and they clearly say this in their in their works. So the early church, they they knew that. See, there's something about the Father, the only true God. That was even Jesus said, it, the only true God is the Father. It had meaning to them. You see, it was later on in Nicaea that you hear something like true God from true God. That was not something people could say before. It would be controversial if they had said that. So the point is, think about it. If you can say God sent his son, and everybody understand that. God sent his spirit. You still understand that. God sent his father. Hmm, that is weird. <laughs> everybody knows that is weird. And I know you might want to say, hey, they have different roles. That's the point. One has the role of being the king. The others have the roles of serving. Even in that sense, they are not equal. At least accept it. See, you might say they are, they are, what's it called? They are equal in essence. Say whatever. What I know is that there's one that is a master here. Even relationship, with relationship purpose, they are not the same. With relationship wise, they are not. At least accept it. Because now people are even finding that difficult to accept that the father is greater than the son. <laughs> okay, not, not in essence. Not in essence. No problem. <laughs> in role, they are not different. In role, there's subordination there. Because... One can be sent and one cannot be sent. You cannot send the father anywhere, okay? In subordin they are, there's subordination right there, in person. We, I know you guys want to use the excuse, hey, not in essence. See, 
me, for example, if I have a child, my baby, this is my baby, he has the same essence as me. He's a human. I'm a human. Does that mean I'm not his father? Does that mean I'm not before him? No. Does that mean I don't have power over him? I have power over him in that sense. But I cannot destroy his humanity. He's a human. Okay? So at least everybody knows that I'm much more powerful than this guy. I'm much more knowledgeable than this guy. Even though we have the same essence. So even that essence stuff is not that. You cannot get out of this argument with this. The point is the father can never be sent. The father is the king. The source of everything. It gives life. You hear some, some of these creeds, the early creeds, you see, the Father is the source of being. You see, the Father is the one that gives being to everything else. You see, the Father is the King. We need to accept that. And Father, who is the Father? God. This is very easy to, equ equ um, to equate God with the Father. Because the Jews, the Jews will understand this in this way also. So I just wanted to say that. And just, just ask your, ask your friends. And if you're watching this, think about this. Like, can you say God's father? Can you say God's father? Or God sent his father? Can you say that? And comment in the comment section if you have, if you can say that. So, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.